certain numbers ratios and proportions have been assuming great importance in the civil cultural and religious practices in india right through the ages and in different parts of india we shall in this video take a look at how one of those the ratio or proportion of 5 is to 4 has been figuring prominently in different activities throughout india right from ancient times if you like the content of this video please do click the like button share it by forwarding it to your contacts and friends and subscribe to this channel we shall travel in time to six different time periods three before the common era and three in the common era let us do a time and space travel using a time machine and go back in time to 4600 to 3900 years ago that is to 2600 to 1900 bce this is the mature period of the harappan or indus valley civilization as per the dating study by jonathan kenoya referenced in the credit section at the end of this video and also in the description and also do a space travel to four sites of the harappan or indus valley civilization we have the first instance of the 5 to 4 ratio coming into play at dolavira the harappan site in the ran of kutch in gujarat the archaeological excavations at dolavira have revealed the special ratio at play in several of the towns planning and architectural designs the entire city has dimensions of 771 meters by 617 meters that is as per the ratio of 5 to 4 not only that even the inner and outer castles dimensions follow the same ratio as shown even in another harappan site that is lothal in the gulf of kambath again in gujarat situated at about 80 km southwest of ahmedabad the city's overall dimensions of 280 meters by 225 meters follow the same ratio that is 5 to 4 remaining in the same time period that is 2600 to 1900 bce we then travel to harappa where the granary had dimensions of 50 meters by 40 meters that is again in ratio of 5 to 4 remaining in the same time period we then move on to mohenjodaro where the archaeological excavations have revealed a pillared hall approximately 750 square meters or 8100 square feet in area with 20 pillars in four rows of five pillars in each row made of kin baked bricks again this is the ratio of 5 to 4 coming into play what this hall was used is not very clear maybe for public assembly for functions ceremonies or entertainment or it may have been an educational institution let us now travel forward in time to go to the mauryan period of 322 to 185 bce and land at pataliputra now known as patna of bihar we have ruins of a pillared assembly hall here just as in mohenjodaro only on a much bigger scale this hall had 80 pillars arranged in eight rows of 10 pillars each once again the ratio of 5 to 4 or 10 to 8 is coming into play some archaeologists conjecture that this hall might have been used for buddhist prayer meetings but we do not know for sure let us go back in time to the period of 1500 to 800 bce the shatapatha brahmana of the shukla yajurveda is believed to have been composed sometime during the period 1500 to 1200 bce what you now see is the original sanskrit text of verses 1 to 6 of its kanda or book number 3 adhyaya or chapter number 5 and brahmana number 1 now we see its transliteration in english giving detailed instructions on how to construct the trapezoid shaped mahavedi 
or the great fire altar for performing yagyas or sacrificial rituals the gist of these instructions is that the length of the western side of the mahavedi is 30 steps and the eastern side 24 steps that is in the ratio of 5 to 4 the bodhayana shilpa sutra is dated around 800 to 1000 bce shilpa in sanskrit means measurement so this work contains a number of rules and procedures related to geometry and measurement as you may all know the theorem by bodhayana on the relationship between the three sides of a right angle triangle preceded that by pythagoras by a few centuries in this verse number 3 of chapter number 4 of the bodhayana shilpa sutra the dimensions of the mahavedi or the great fire altar are given as 30 prakramas on western side and 24 prakramas on eastern side thus being in the ratio of 5 to 4 a prakrama is an ancient indian unit of measurement equal to 30 angulas each angula being 1.76 cm so a prakrama is approximately 53 cm we then move on forward in time to 550 to 575 ce the period in which the encyclopedic work brahat samhita was composed by the multidisciplinary scholar varahan hira who was proficient in mathematics astronomy astrology agriculture gems and pearls architecture rituals and much more brahat in sanskrit means vast or very large many of the rules of vastu shastra a compendium of principles governing the dwelling places and buildings are taken from brahat samhita in this fourth shloka from the 53rd chapter of brahat samhita varahan hira says the king's house is of five kinds the best of them is 108 cubits in width and the other four are 100 92 84 and 76 cubits respectively their length is greater than the breadth by a quarter that is 135 125 115 105 and 95 cubits so again the ratio of 5 to 4 or 1 and a quarter times is emphasized we then move back a bit in time to around 400 ce when the famous iron pillar at mehrali delhi was built as you all know this pillar has withstood the ravages of time and weather and does not show any sign of rusting even after 1600 years the inscription on the pillar in brahmi script says that it was built by chandragupta 2 is also known as vikramaditya and ruled during the period of 380 to 415 of common era the inscription calls the pillar the lofty standard of vishnu and says that it was installed on the vishnupad hill the geography of this hill is not clear to experts but they opine that the pillar may have been uprooted and reinstalled in delhi this diagram from michel denino's book the last river on the trail of the saraswati acknowledged in the credit section and description of this video shows the dimensions of the iron pillar in terms of the ancient indian units of length namely dhanush indicated by letter d which equals approximately 1.9 meters and angula indicated by the letter a which equals 1.76 cm the pillar's total length is 7.67 meters which is precisely 4 dhanush whereas the length above the ground is 6.12 meters the ratio of these two lengths is exactly 5 is to 4 surprised <laughs> we finally travel in time further forward to the most recent period of 1700 to 1949 of common era to explore a very unique usage of the ratio 5 to 4 the ratio of 5 to 4 when expressed as a fraction is 1 and a quarter known as 
sapadaikam in sanskrit from which the hindi word sava is derived this gave rise to the title of honor savai for a generation of rulers of jaipur starting with savai jay singh savai meant a person who is a quarter more in valor intelligence ability and all other good qualities than a normal person even cities founded by these rulers took on this title for example savai madhopur after its founder savai madho singh thus we see that for over 4600 years that is from 2600 bce till the present day the ratio of 5 to 4 has occupied a very prominent position in indian civilization in various activities such as civil cultural religious architectural royal etc it is remarkable that even today the mahavedi or great fire altar is constructed with dimensions in the same ratio so what is special about this ratio 5 to 4 what is the reason it has been followed in several activities is it spiritual or religious or just a custom we just don't know maybe after viewing this video some of you may be motivated to inquire deeply and find the answer if you do please let me know please check out our other videos in the full playlist and please subscribe to our channel by clicking the respective links